Hi everybody, it's Anne here. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite braided hairstyles. Given that it's getting warmer out right now, these are really great looks for spring and summer. Um, what you're going to need is some bobby pins that are preferably the color of your hair. I don't know if you can see those there. I have blonde bobby pins and some rubber bands as well. Um, I have this set here that I got that is a fun multi-colored set. We'll do more fun things with those later. Um, and for these looks, you want to have wavy hair. Um, right now, I'm, I'm kind of feeling how my hair is looking today. I have second day hair. I had a braid in it yesterday too, in part of it. So, um, so it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. If I wasn't, I would use my one and a half, rather one and a quarter inch um, iron to put some really loose curls in it. Um, personally, to me, it doesn't really matter what brand of an iron I use. I have ones that are more expensive, more professional than this one. This one's just like a standard um, Conair iron that I got from Target or something like that. That works as well. So um, we're going to start off with a side part here. Um, it's rather messy, so it's not anything that you have to put in place perfectly with a comb. This one's probably going to be the easiest of all the braids that I'll show you today. So um, I want to kind of really accentuate kind of like a side swept fringe look, um, even though I don't have bangs really. They're kind of grown out. So I'm going to kind of visualize um, kind of sweeping this over before I start. And I'm going to scoop hair pretty much all the way from the back of my part here. And um, I'm really, I'm just gonna do a standard braid right here. Forgot to grab my rubber band here. I'm gonna put that on my finger so I can grab it really easily. Um, okay, so, and you can make sure that it is tighter towards towards the back of your head than towards the front because we kind of want this to be really um, loose and kind of uh, undone looking, I guess, from the front. Okay. And yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the hair right there. So we're going to put the rubber band there. Actually, I wasn't at the end, but one of my pieces was nearing the end. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to kind of loosen up the front part here. Okay. Okay. So there we have that, and then this can get stretched out a little bit more. Okay, so here we have look number one. Um, just kicked my tripod there, oops. Um, so it's kind of like a loose side swept fringe with a braid on the side. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the second look. We'll take this one out right here and I'm gonna hang on to my rubber band again. So this one's gonna be a little bit more secure along the hairline. Um, maybe if you're growing out bangs, this can be a really good look. So also we're gonna have a side part again. And we're gonna scoop up our first piece right along the part here. And we're going to do a Dutch braid. So everything is gonna go underneath creating a more visible braid. So there we go, under, under. And then each time we're gonna scoop up more hair. I tend to like run my fingers down each piece of hair, I guess, just to kind of make sure that I don't have extra pieces getting caught where they're not supposed to go. And then when I get to the end of the front hairline here, um, so kind of just before or right around at the temples, that's where I stop adding in hair and just kind of make it a regular, regular braid. Okay. 
And you're also going to decide on this one if you want to kind of expand the braid out and make it fatter. Um, I always love that because my hair is really thin, so I feel like I can look like I have thicker hair when I do that little trick. Um, it also looks great without doing that, so whatever your preference is. All right, so there's the placement of that right there. And I will stretch it out. And then right up here, you'd have to kind of be careful if you are growing out your bangs because you might um, have some loose pieces that would fall out. Um, but there you have it. There's that look right there. Um, I love doing this whenever I kind of want some of my hair off of my face, but I want to still, I want to still wear it down. I just, I can't stand to have my hair falling in my face if I'm, you know, doing work at home or, um, or at work actually. So um, there you have that look. And now the last look, the third look is going to be kind of an expansion off of this look here. So this braid here is going to actually go to the back and attached to another braid. So we're gonna create a second braid over on this other side here. So we're really gonna kind of just use this space right here to create another um, Dutch braid on the scalp. So again, we're gonna do three pieces and go underneath with each one. And then after this first section, we'll be adding in there we go. And, you know, I don't really get too particular with this look about, like, paying attention to, um, like, using two mirrors, really, to, like, look at the back and get it perfect because, I mean, I already have kind of a uneven, messy wave sort of look. So, I don't know. I, I think it's great to have it all sort of imperfect. And I'm kind of holding this out because I know that I'm going to pull this around to the back of the head. So I don't have to worry about getting any extra hairs caught in it from the rest of my hair that's lying down right now. Okay. And since we stretched out the other side, we're going to do this one as two, this one as well. Okay, and then we're going to kind of reach them both around to each other in the back and create sort of like a like a halo, I guess, or a crown. So I'm really kind of just feeling this out. Um, again, like I was saying before, nothing has to be too perfect. But they do reach, so that's good. That means that my hair is just long enough for this to work. Um, so now I'm going to grab some bobby pins and just kind of go, kind of feel it out and go through um, where I'm going to pierce through both of the braids and get them to hold each other. And I mean, I'm always trying to like not make the bobby pins completely visible, but they might show a little bit. Looks like I'm going to probably do three bobby pins. Um, I did one in the center just to kind of really secure both of the braids. And then I'm tucking um, the loose ends underneath and pinning those as well. So, I mean, it feels to me like I have the bobby pins really secure and hidden underneath. So I'm gonna turn around and show you the back in a minute. I'm actually not checking the back myself um, until after this. So you'll get the idea of what we're going for here. Uh, 
All right, so there you have it. This is the third and final look that I wanted to show you today. So um, I really hope that you found this video inspiring and I love to hear what you guys come up with on your own if you have any creative um, takes on my looks or any way that you can kind of adjust it and make it your own. So thank you for watching. Bye.